Yeah, right? Greetings and salutations. My name is Comicfire, and welcome back for more Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team. In the last episode, we helped Magnemite and his buddies out, and now we're just going on with our natural life, starting out Team Red Lead. Pokemon scores over this way. Let's go. I'm trying out a new filming type thing. I decided to uh, make it horizontal to see if that made it better in any way, shape, or form. That's the Kecleon shop. You can buy and sell items there. It's a pretty cool place. Felicity Bank. Very useful. Golden Link Shop. Less than useful. I'll never use it. Extremely useful. And then the Pelipper Post Office, which is also very useful. Yeah, there are no wasted shops here. I don't know why, but there have been many natural disasters lately. A lot of Pokemon have gone wild and violent because the disasters have scared them. It's a meme world out there. <laughs> Pardon? Oh, the Pelipper Post Office! The Pelipper Post Office would be straight on this path. It's out of the game. You can't miss it. There was a forest fire down there. Who's was there? I'm, I don't even know why I'm using these accents. They aren't even fitting accents. Hello there! Very, very useful. Like, if you store an item here and you die in a dungeon, you won't lose any of your items, because they'll all be stored here. Now, when you link a move, link moves, like, say you link, tackle, like, smoke screen and tackle together, if you use smoke screen, you'll use smoke screen and then use tackle also. It's pretty cool. Okay, so, and then you can just store your money here. In fact, let's, uh, store that. Uh, this one's for later. And then you can buy cool items here. This guy sells, like, consumable goods. And this guy sells TMs and orbs. Uh, nothing we can afford. And it's orbs, they have various things. They're pretty cool. Well, they can be pretty cool. God, I haven't played this game in so long. I'm used to Treasure Town from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon 2. This is where the information is gathered from. Oh, wait. See, have a look at this bulletin board. It lists rescue jobs. So let's see what we can do. Now, whenever you unlock a new area, chances are you'll get uh, more missions in that area. So let's see, what do we want to do? We can deliver a Pecha Berry, reward 100 Pokey, and some other thing. That also. A Reviver Seed, I may want that. Graveler Rock, eh. There are a bunch of various missions, and I'll go through them all. However, I want to go through this one just to get a Reviver Seed. And then uh, you go to Accept It, take a job, with the job item list. And then he'll... well, he just told you there. If you don't select Take Job, you can't do that rescue mission even if you go to the dungeon. That's just starting out, we should handle the jobs that are posted here. Our team will, name will get better known by doing that. I think that'll bring job offers to our mailbox. Now, I think to move on... In the story, we have to get to a certain rank, so we need 80 uh, job points. Rank points. Job points. I'm watching uh, Final Fantasy Tactics with H.C. Bailey. Crap, what happened? Okay. Job list. Okay. So let's go. Can I move? What's going on? It's not letting me go for some reason. Odd. There's another way out here, so maybe. Oh, wait, no, uh. Just check everything out. I guess we'll just come there later. I wonder what's going on. 
have some anti-piracy measure by Nintendo. Hope not. Gonna ruin the OLP. Now, if you want to, uh, if you get rescue mail from a friend of yours, like in real life, you go there. And then you can send or receive items from them here. Yeah, I'll cover all that. Alright, so let's see what's going on. And why I can't seem to do anything. It's more than likely an anti-piracy measure. I've heard fishes have opened up in the ground here and there. He's a wise little Whiskash. Shame no one actually likes Whiskash. They're pretty cool. I like Whiskashes. So why don't we just take a little nap and see if that helps anything. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, the one on the left was the edge of friend areas, I see. We'll get more into friend areas later in the game. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Guess now you know I'm a filthy pirate. Now, there's a way to, like, set a move, so all you have to do is hold the L button. And, uh, then press A and you'll use it, or A or B, and then you'll use it. Crap. Of course, I don't remember what, uh, I had set up to, uh, what my L button is. Last time I did that, I accidentally hit a reload save state. I was dealing with slowdown last time I was filming this, and now I'm dealing with too much speed up. The music's supposed to be a lot slower. Nice air trick level up. Now you'll learn um, moves at the same level you learn them in the uh, games. So, uh... I think... Airdrick's like two levels away from learning, uh... Ember. Which is actually a surprisingly... Like a move that surprisingly stays useful until endgame. And even past that, I mean, it's one of my favorite moves in the whole game. Just because base powers don't really matter so much. Just so much as you can hit them hard. At least that's what I found. Leave no one alive. Take no prisoners, comrades. Now, when you reach the destination floor... Oh, here we go. It'll tell you, so you won't accidentally skip it. Now, you can continue to... Con you can uh, choose to continue the dungeon so you can get more experience and stuff. I don't want to do that, so let's just get out of here. Thank you for rescuing me. Here's your reward, the promised reviver seed. We get five rescue points. And then you get the option to save your adventure. And then you walk on outside. Get some mail. Let's see if the story continues a bit, or if I do have to level up like I think I have to. Rank up. Let's see what we get. Save your adventure going into bed. Already knew that. So it seems we have to advance a rank. In which we need 80 job points to do so. Or rank points. Well, I don't even care anymore. So, E ranks always give you five rank points. The highest one, S, no, star, gives you, uh, I think, 150, if I'm not mistaken. It's been years since I played the game, so I'm probably mistaken. So, we're stuck doing just a ton.
ton of fives until we're done. So, let's see what we got also. 100 Poké. Not that great. So, I'm actually going to level up off-screen and continue the plot off-screen. And so, I guess I'll just end the episode today here. Alright, next time on Pokemon Blue, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Blue Rescue Team, we're going to continue with the plot. See you guys next time.